Welcome to the Death Egg Zone, and all it is is this. It's a short little hallway, and two rooms, each with a boss in them. And there is a full-length music track for this level that only plays in this little hallway, which means the average player is only going to hear it for about three seconds, which is kind of a shame, because it's one of the best tracks in the game, in my opinion, honestly. And now we're on to the first of two bosses, the Silver Sonic. Just like the final zone from Sonic 1, you get no rings, and as a kid, this guy was my fucking nightmare. He kicked my ass so many times before I could kill him. But, he's actually pretty easy once you realize something, and that's something that you should realize, is that he only ever moves according to a certain pattern. And once you memorize that pattern, he's easy, because you know, you just know what he's gonna do. It's easy to dodge what you, when you know what's coming. And I have this fucking memorized from when I was a kid, and I had to do this like a hundred times. Not even kidding. And... Uh, you should probably note that you can't hit him on the top of his head. Oh yeah, I'm not sure how many people actually know we can do that, because most people kill him before that. But, one thing I need to mention is you don't hit him straight on the top of his head, because the spikes will kill you. You have to hit him, like, on the forehead, or in the face. And I thought, I thought he was going straight that time, so I jumped in the last second. And I had to dodge him. It's a pretty nice save, in my opinion. Anyways, it's time to move on to the next boss, and... That is this guy. And I want to mention that if you fucking die here, you have to do fight Silver Sonic again, which is a pain in the fucking ass. So, uh, yeah, this guy, he's the final boss, and, you know, he's pretty decent in terms of final bosses, in my opinion. He's definitely better than the Sonic 1 final boss, maybe not as good Sonic 3 and Knuckles final boss, but, uh, yeah, so, just, here's the gist of it, you gotta wait until he jumps down to hit him like that, and yes, those harms can't hit you on the way back, so, gotta be careful. Uh, you actually don't have to wait, you can hit him when he's just walking towards you, but you either have to have enough momentum to get above his spikes, or wait until there's, like, the perfect timing, so there's, like, a small window of opportunity where you can just hit him. It's hard. It's dangerous, and one wrong move may means you have to do all this over again. Like I said, there's no fucking rings. None of them! I think they added some, like, the shitty Sonic Jam version of this. Oh yeah, and if you get behind him, he fires these little Robotnik bombs that are actually kind of fucking hard to dodge in this small area, so just, there's no reason to go behind him, just stay in front of him. But, uh, he's actually pretty hard, but he's also, he's not hard if you know, like, if you want to play the safe way, and the safe way is you just wait until he rockets up into the air, and then you go to one of the edges, like, say here, and then you just wait, and then when he comes down you hit him, and then you run all the way to the other side, and his arms can't get you. Now, you can just do that for all of his hits, and he does take a lot of hits, more than normal. I think it's 12, I think, but don't quote me on that. Uh, you can hit him, like, a couple times, but like I said, this is dangerous, and if you want to play it safe, don't do this. Now, even though it seems like he might, he can never actually, like, walk into the wall and crush you, so don't worry about that. But, uh, so, comparing to the Sonic 1 final boss, that guy had two attacks, this guy's three, therefore, this guy's better. But, yeah, those are actually really hard to dodge, and I, I don't recommend trying to. It's actually probably best if you just either just take him to one of the edges, or you just try and finish him off really quick by just jumping into him a bunch. And, um, yeah, sorry, not a whole lot to say about this guy. Nice background, uh, pretty cool, cool level design. I think it's actually kind of reminds me of a fucking chemical plant zone, but you know what else. Anyways, I think, yes, we are done with this guy. Thank you, finally. Now just sit back and enjoy the ending. You earned it. Well, I earned it. You kind of earned it by watching me earn it. Anyways, just watch.
Thank you for watching Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I had a lot of fun, even though I've played this game a million times. Hope you had fun watching it, and if you didn't, well, sorry about that. Um, you just witnessed the good ending, that is where you have all the Chaos Emeralds. And I'm not even going to call the other ending the bad ending, because it's, it's good, it's just you don't have the Chaos Emeralds. So there's actually two other endings. There's the regular ending, and then there's the Tails ending, which is basically the same as regular ending. I'll be showing you that, and a lot more, in a bonus video coming out sometime. I don't know, I have a lot to cover. Like the Sonic 2 beta stuff, like, you know, a whole Hidden Palace zone. Don't worry, you'll, you'll understand when you see the video. Till then, just sit back and relax, watch these credits. Not quite as good as the Sonic 1 credits, in my opinion, because they don't actually show you any of the, like, levels. They just kind of have the medley playing, which is, you know, it's fine by me. It's really good medley. Sonic 2, some great music. I like it more than Sonic 1 medley, actually, to be honest. It's just got a lot of great tracks. If there's a music track you don't recognize, um, it's probably from the two-player version of the level, and I'll, you know, show you that, uh, in the bonus video, I mean. But, uh, you know, till then, just sit back and chill ax. So, uh, not a whole lot to say about these credits. I'd like to mention that you can actually kill Silver Sonic in about 15 seconds. I would just take him along to, you know, show you his attack pattern. Like, I just, I just wanted to show it to you, that's all it was, trust me. I'm, I'm better at him than that. It's so just... Never mind. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Sorry about not having another big ol' credits with a bunch of people's, like, posting the threads names. But, um, I figured I'd just have, like, a really huge one at the end of Sonic 3 and Knuckles instead of having one here as well. It's just been adding like a whole other day of effort onto this video, and I'm sure you want to see it now. You don't want to have to like wait a whole other day. So, uh, yeah, thanks for being patient while I have technical stuff to deal with and with all the delays you put up with. You were all mostly pretty good about that. Thanks for your comments and stuff. I appreciate them. Even though I don't reply to like any of them, I do appreciate them. They're good to read. They're good, they're fun. Anyways, that's pretty much the end. Thank you again for the third time for watching. That has been, this has been Sonic 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Hope you, hope you come back for Sonic 3 Knuckles, which is where I'll see ya. So, uh, see you later.